We didn't. They don't want to speak to you concerning the secret of Christmas and why it is a secret. And it has always been a secret and will continue to be a secret. You see, when something has been done within, in the place of the subconscious realm, only those who have the experience will know. And that is why real knowing is experiential. It must be by experience. And so it tells you that Christmas is about a secret birth. But many read this story and believe that this birth is a historical event that would have taken place thousands of years ago. But what they miss is that it is something that happens all the time. It keeps happening over and over and over and over and over and over to different people at different times. And there is no partiality when it comes to having this secret birth, this birth from within. And so when it comes to you understanding why Christmas is the greatest gift to man, why is the time of giving and receiving? Why is the time of joy, peace, happiness, gladness? Why is the time of rejoicing? Why it is a time when you see the birth of God in flesh. You see, all of that is symbolic. And many people tie themselves to the symbols and miss the wisdom and knowledge of what it is all about. But you see, the messages are subliminal messages. That's why it tells you that with this secret birth, only the wise men knew. You see, it's only the wise people will discover the higher self. It's only the wise people will wake up to realize that it's the dawning of a new day in their life. They, they would realize also that the sun, as in the SUN, parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. They would realize that without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. They would discover that. When they discover Christ behind the mass. You see, this body is the robe that dipped in blood. And until you had, had the inner awakening. We wake from the dream of life to find your body to be the tomb. Unless you have that experience, you'll never know the secret of Christmas. And that is why Christmas is an experience. It's not something that you try to commemorate year after year. It's a story of the greatest mystery that can never be known intellectually. It must only be known by experience. It's a story of how you discover your real identity is your divinity. It's a story where you will understand the journey of life. It's from humanity to divinity. And when you come into your divine self, that's your Christmas. And you will always be in that Christmas spirit. That spirit of giving and receiving. That spirit of multiplying. That spirit of bringing life. back again that is why for those who experience the these four seasons you'll find around this time is a time of hibernation where things go to, to sleep where where nature in certain parts of the world has lost it, its bloom in terms of the, 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 the trees would have shed their leaves and it's cold, it's freezing. But there will come a time when the coldness will be removed. 
and the light of the sun will start becoming more and more dominant. And that is what would bring into a, a time of springing forth, bringing forth of life. They call it springtime. And from springtime, it will bring you into the summertime when the sun is at its highest. So there's a time when the sun is at its highest and a time when the sun is at its lowest. And so with the great psychological drama that has been taking place in man long throughout the ages, the mystics who put the stories together, they even tied in astrology. But everything actually takes place inwardly. So that those who take the angle of astrology and show you the longest and shortest day of the year and so on and show you the, the winter star size, the summer star size and so on and showing you, you know, when, when, when the sun going to cross, you know, you know what I mean? They show you all of that. So this is definitely a time of shifting. This is a time where you're supposed to really get into the depths of your higher self in terms of learning to use these times to quiet your mind as much as possible and to really think. Think of why it is said to you that you must let your light so shine before the world. And you see, the most light you see is in the time when, uh, when they are celebrating Christmas. They even light trees. What they call a Christmas tree. A tree of light. You are that tree of light. Everything represents you. The tree has its, its, its root. You have your brain. The tree has, has, has all its veins and... and, 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 and branches and stems and so on you have all of that you have all of your, your nerves and everything you have all of your veins you 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 have all the important organs of your body so two with a tree so my brother my sisters the secret is within you the secret of christmas is, it lies within you. Christmas is a cosmic event. Not what people think it is. about. The, people think it's all about drinking and celebrating and believe that there was a historical event that took place thousands of years ago and you're commemorating that. No. We're celebrating life on a higher level. So every year, you talk about Christmas. It's supposed to be a very joyful time for you to know that you can discover your eternal self. You can discover your God self and experience Christmas. Experience that you're the Christ hidden behind the mass. And you have a power that you can use to achieve your every desire. You have a power to create. You have a power to remold and reshape. You have a power to bring new life, new experiences, tapping into certain potential you haven't tapped in, you haven't tapped into before. You have all of that inside of you. And until you experience your Christmas, you never know that it's your story. It's all about you. So with that be said, my brother, my sister, I can go on and on and on, but the main thing is that Every aspect of, Christ, of, of Christmas is a reflection of you if you discover your higher self, your cosmic self, which is your God self. So you're the real Christ behind the mask, the real Christmas. Always celebrate who you are. How do you do it? By your works. This is not theory, though. It's a practical by the life you bring forth. 
So my brother and my sisters, I can go on and on and on. But when I come to a close here, I want to say to you, if this is the very first time you listen to me what I'm saying, if it makes sense, see if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, I just want to encourage you to keep looking for my book that will be up, definitely going to be up very, very, very soon. The Secret Vagina, uh, The Secret Portal, The Mystery of the Virgin Birth. Okay, and all of that, I'm going to show you more deeper. You can go into the Bible to see what I'm talking about concerning Christmas and concerning, you know, the death, the burial, the resurrection, and so on. I'll be the same event and so on. You know, and go more deeper into it. So I definitely encourage you to keep an eye out for that book. It definitely will be up in this month for sure. Okay. I think you're going you're gonna to definitely get it before the new year. So I really want to thank you very much. And if you want to grab a hold of my work, I will definitely encourage you to check out all the links that are down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Or you can follow me on TikTok at Black Mad Guru. But whatever you do, let it be by the leading and guidance of your intuition. So let your intuition lead you and guide you into what you would do when you check out the links that are down below. So with that being said, I just want to say peace. Love you all. Um, um.